Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I will crochet it forward in this video by showing you how to make this baby hat and baby hat with mini earmuffs and baby mittens. These are also known as uh, scratch mittens as babies tend to um, uh, scratch their face a lot um, when they're younger as they don't have control of their movements. Um, so um, I'm going to be showing the newborn pattern, I believe, in this video. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do two different videos or just lump them into one, and I've been gone for a while. I started a new job, and um, I'm really excited because I'm super happy. I feel like I've been waiting all my life for this job, which is super cool. But as everyone knows with new jobs, when you get home, you're just mentally exhausted. Um, and I also want to mention that I am nursing a toothache, so if I don't seem like myself, that is why. So throughout the pattern, I will be um, showing you how to do the newborn, and then I also show you how to, um, or tell you, or yeah, tell you how to do, how to make the one to three months. So um, let's get started. Okay, so the yarn I'm going to be using is uh, Lion Brand one pound of yarn and it is in the color of pastel blue i'm going to be using a 3.0 uh, millimeter crochet hook you're going to need some scissors i have a smaller um a smaller crochet hook on standby and you're going to need a sewing needle so the first thing we need to do is make a slip knot and you can make your slip uh, I mean magic circle um, any way you want I like to just do an unfinished knot and then slip to join we're going to chain two and then we're going to make eight double crochets in your magic circle okay that's yarn over into the magic circle pull up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two Yarn over, go inside your magic circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, I'm going to be sure I'm in the frame here. Now we're going to close our circle. Okay. We are going to slip to join in the first double crochet, not the chain two. And for this pattern, I'm going to be using the alternate, alternative chain two. And that is when you have to chain two in a pattern, we go right into that same stitch. We make a single crochet okay and then you have these two front loops <clears throat> you make <coughs> excuse me you make a single crochet in the left loop only okay and that is our alternate double crochet so that's one Two, and we're going to make two double crochets in every stitch for a total of 16 double crochets because we had eight double crochets in our first round. All right, so after your 16th double crochet, we're going to slip stitch to the top of that very first single crochet. Okay, so if your work is curling up, that's what it's supposed to do. So this is a repeat round, round three, four, five, six. The next four rounds are just gonna be one double crochet in each stitch. And we're always gonna do the alternate, alternative single crochet. So after you slip to join, you're gonna go right in that same stitch and make a single crochet. And then in that, see right here's your right loop, left loop, this loop is where we're going to go and always make our single crochet. 
that's our alternate single crochet. So that's one, two, three, and I'm going to continue making one double crochet. And I'm going to slip to join just like I've been for the next four rows, and I will meet you back on the seventh row. I just want to show you real quick before I slip to join at the end of this round the third round I just uh, put my work inside out and then took this tail and then just secured it so I don't have to do it later you can wait to do it later if you want I just find this a lot easier and also you can sew this um, tail end if you want as well it's totally up to you so here's my 16th double crochet and I'm just going to slip to join at the top my first um, single crochet and I'm going to go on and do three more rows and I'll meet you back at the beginning of the seventh. All right, so we have finished, uh, whoop, I have one more to go, 16. This is our sixth row. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to slip to join just like we have been doing. Make sure you're going through both of those loops. So for row seven, we have to make <clears throat> the, uh, the row where our tie is going to go right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we're going to do is go into that same stitch where we slip stitch and make another single crochet. We're making an alternative double crochet and then another single cro crochet in that left loop. We're going to chain one. And we're going to skip a stitch. We're going to make a double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next chain one, skip a stitch, and then do that all the way around. Skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next, chain one skip a stitch and there should be a stitch in between um, your last stitch should be the skip stitch before you single crochet the top before you slip stitch at the top of the single crochet okay so then from here we're gonna make another alternative double crochet which is a slip stitch and then slip stitch in that left loop. And then in that chain one space, we're gonna make two double crochets. One, two. And now from here around to the end, we're gonna make a double crochet on top of each double crochet. And then two double crochets inside each, each chain one space. Okay, I'll do that one more time. A double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. And then two double crochets in your chain one space. So go ahead and repeat that sequence and I'll meet you back at the end. Alright, so once you have finished that sequence, you should end up with your two double crochets in that chain one space. The last one we are going to slip to join. Okay, we're going to chain one and in the same stitch, we're going to just make a round of single crochets. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you back here. All right, so now I'm in my last stitch. I'm just going to slip to join. And I will sew that in. So for your tie, you want to take your yarn, get a slip knot, 
and chain 51 stitches, 51 chains, and fasten off. And the chain is just one, two, three, four, five, etc. And you want to do 51 and fasten off. All right, once you've done that, what you want to do, and this is what I do, is um, I take the end and I thread it with a needle and I just try to sew it up the middle of your chain so it's hidden but it's it blends with the the yarn fibers that are already in there so it's not sticking out and just kind of go right up the middle right up the middle I'm sorry I can't talk today okay and then get as far as you can hang on to your end and pull your yarn as far as you can stretch that out and it should disappear so once you have that and you I've already um, sewed in my tail do you see where we did this alternative <coughs> excuse me this alternative double crochet you can barely tell you really can uh, can barely tell so this is going to be the front of my mitten I want that side in the middle so it's in the inside of the baby hand and you're just going to take this and go in and out thread it in one stitch out the next or in and out of the double crochets for that row that we created for the tie all the way till you get back to the beginning And there you have it now if you want you can go back another one um, but I just like it like that and that way you have a, a good enough a sturdy enough tie that you can tie it around the baby's wrist and it's not like a big thick tie which I think kind of looks gawky if your tie is almost as big as your little baby mitten or your scratch mitten um, yeah that's just my opinion though. and then you just have your nice little one now I do want to mention if you think this is too small this is newborn you can go another row up do you see how this one's another row up it goes up this far instead of that far just do another row of double crochet so instead of going to six row and starting your seventh row with the loop with the tie hole round do one row do one more row of double crochets and then so you would do seven rows total and then your eighth row would start the uh, the, the loop okay that's like could be good for maybe I would say one to three months baby hands are so small all right to make this hat we are going to need a 3.0 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a smaller crochet hook I use on standby, and a sewing needle. Today, for this hat, I am using Lion Brand Pound of Love, and the color is going to be pastel pink. Okay, to get started, you want to make your magic circle, and you can do that any way you want. There's so many ways to do it. You want to chain two, and then you want to make ten double crochets in your circle. One, two, three, and go ahead and make ten seven more the chain two does not count and I will meet you at the end of the round once you've completed your ten double crochets you want to tighten your circle by pulling that strand and then we want to slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet and not the chain two now for this hat and throughout the the pattern we're going to be uh, making alternative double crochets which is a substitute for your chain two and that is after you slip stitch you go right into that same stitch 
and make a single crochet. Okay? And then you will have these two front loops right here. Let me take that out. These two front loops of your oops, sorry, of your single crochet, you have the right side, the left one. We're always going to be working in that front left one. Okay, and then what we're going to be doing is making another single crochet just in that second loop. Okay, that is one of the alternative chain two um, stitches. So for this round two, we're going to make two double crochets in each stitch. And that alternative does count as our first one. Next one, two double crochets. And then two double crochets in the next. And so on. So go ahead and make an increase of one all the way around. And I will meet you back here. All right. So I just did my, so I just completed my 18th stitch. So your last um, stitch will be 19 and 20. And we just have to show you something on this because we did the alternative double crochet. You will note that there are two stitches right there and then you immediately see, I'm sorry, one, two, three. That is your first single crochet. This is your second single crochet. You will always want to go on that second single crochet when joining your round. And then that is your regular double crochet. It's going to be really easy to just immediately see that first one and go into that. But we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is slip stitch to the second one. I'm sorry. Slip stitch to the second one. And then from here, we're going to do the exact same thing. Sorry. I don't think I was on camera for that. So let me do that again. Or in the frame. So this is my 20th double crochet. I'm going to skip that first single crochet right here. Slip stitch to that second one. And in that same stitch, we're going to go ahead and make another single crochet because we're starting round three. When we're increasing, we're always going to do two in the first stitch. And then right here on your left loop, we're just going to make and be sure you're grabbing them both. That's considered our first double crochet. Go into the exact same stitch and make another one. So the repeat for this round is two double crochets in one stitch, one in the next, two double crochets in the next stitch, okay, one in the next. So go ahead and repeat that and I will meet you at the end of the round. So I just, I'm finishing up my last increase. 27, 28, 29, sorry, I lost my uh, train of thought there. And then your last one should always be one double crochet for 30. And then we're going to slip stitch to the top of our single crochet. And then we're going to go right back in there and make our alternative uh, chain two and then make a single crochet and then a single crochet in that left front loop. So again, we're always going to start our increased rounds with two in your first stitch, one double crochet in your next two, and that's the repeat. We're just increasing one double crochet as we get the circle uh, bigger. Again, that's two double crochets in the next stitch. one in the next two. So it's two, one, one. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back. 
Okay, I just finished my 40th stitch. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my single crochet. And then we're just repeating this. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet in that same stitch where we slip stitch. And I'm going to single crochet again in just that front left loop. Okay, and we're going to make another one in there because we're still increasing and we're always starting our rounds with two in, with an increase in the first stitch. So the repeat for this round is two, one, one, one. So it's a five stitch repeat, repeat, two double crochets in the first stitch, one in the next, one in the next, one in the next. So that's two, three, four, five. Okay, two in the next, six, seven, and then one in the next three, eight, nine, ten. So go ahead and do that five stitch repeat all the way around, and I will meet you back here. So I just finished my 50th stitch, and I'm going to slip to join the top of our single of our single crochet. Now here is if you're going to make the one one to three month pattern you will do one more round of increases, which would be two in the first stitch and then one in, in each of the next four for a six stitch repeat. But I'm showing you the newborn now, but I just wanted to point that out so you had that option. So from here, we're just going to make our alternate single crochet again throughout this whole pattern and it's just going to be one double crochet in each stitch for the next uh, for rows 6 through 12 so you'll have six rows and it'll start you'll notice that the the circle will start folding up and that's what it's supposed to do and you will have 50 stitches if you're doing the newborn all the way around one stitch for six more rows now if you're doing the increase round you go ahead and finish that and I believe that comes out to 58 and then you would do six rows of the 58 so that's the only difference um, so go ahead and finish that your six rows of one double crochet in each stitch and I will meet you back just a quick side note I just finished my first round of double crochets and I'm going to go ahead and mark that so that I know that I need five more to do. But sometimes it can be confusing on where you left off with the increases. But just a quick side note. And also you notice my work is starting to curl up. And that's, again, completely normal. All right, I just finished my 12th row. And if you're unsure, like if you don't have the... the stitch marker you can count from the bottom let's see if I'm in the camera one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay now if you're making the one to three month you're gonna go that extra round of increases and you also do an extra round of regular double crochets which you will need to stop at 14 rounds as opposed to 12 for the newborn so after you've done this, after you've finished your 12th row, we're going to go ahead and continue with our alternative chain two with the two single crochets. Okay, and now what we're going to do is a row of back post double crochets. Now for the new people, or for beginners, uh, these double crochets or these stitches are called also known as posts okay and I'll do this really slow I know it can be intimidating and again you can control the speed of the video uh, through your settings on your end on your device whether it's a phone tablet or a desktop or a laptop but what we're gonna do is yarn over uh, put your yarn hook in front of the post and then out and because the post is behind 
the the crochet hook that's why they call it the back post then we're just going to grab a loop okay and then we have three three loops on our hook we're going to yarn over go through one two yarn over go through two just like a double crochet again we're going to yarn over go in front of the post pushing it back pulling up our yarn yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and it can be really um scary at first i know for a while i avoided these but i just had to force myself to try because i really liked the way that it left um some projects so again i'm going to yarn over go in the front push that double crochet back grab our yarn pull it up what I like to do is take my middle finger and my thumb and just secure that there. We have three loops on our hook. I'm going to yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And that's all we're doing for this row. So even if it's kind of wonky, you'll have the entire round to practice. Okay? And then you <laughs> it's it was confusing to me because I was refer I was confusing the uh, the hook instead of the post. The post I was like well if it's the back post why is the hook coming out in the front but once you um once you get used to it again we're gonna yarn over and set our hook in front of the post or the double crochet pull our you bring your crochet hook out pull up your yarn pinch it right here so we can secure it we have three just like a regular double crochet Okay, and we're going to do that all the way around, and that's what's going to give us this really cute ridge effect right here. And I will meet you back. So I'm finishing up the round, and I just want to show you, this is my last double crochet that I'm doing the back post on. And again, we're just going to yarn over, take this last one, this is the one I'm working on right here in between my nails, and go in the front, pop that double crochet out in the back. Pull up your loop, pinch, and then yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. But we are going to have to finish this round by doing a back post double crochet on our alternative um, chain two because we started normally. So again, we're just going to go ahead, keep doing, pop it out in the back. Sorry. Yarn over, pull up our loop, yarn over, go through two yarn over go through two and then that puts us right here at the top of your first single crochet and I say single crochet because we're doing the alternative so now what we want to do is chain one and now we're going to make half double crochets to finish our, our baby hat so then we're just going to yarn over pull up our loop we have three on our hook and then finish so we're going to do this all the way around but in every tenth stitch we're going to do two together so that's one two and I'll show you three four five six seven, eight, nine, and then for number 10, we're going to yarn over, go in our stitch, pull up our loop, yarn over, go in our next stitch, and pull up our loop. That's two together. It's a decrease. We're going to go through all of them. So that's 10, and then we'll just continue on. And then in the 20th, 30th, and 40th stitch, you're going to do those two together. And I will meet you at the end of the round. Finishing up this very last round, I slip stitch into my first half double crochet. Cut our yarn. Um, sew in my end. Sew in that end too, the inside of your hat if you haven't already. And then there's your little baby hat. 
Now you can certainly stop here, um, but I did want to show you um, the mini earmuff, which is just a shell. Um, so if you want to stop there, that's fine. Um, that's how it looks for a boy. Um, or if you want to add the, the shells, um, I'm going to sew in my ends and I will meet you back and show you how to do that. All right, so what I've done is I've marked my middle and what I did is I took where I was doing the alternate uh, chain two, use that as a guide. I folded my hat, marked the middle, and now we're, I have it upside down. So what we need to do is 10 stitches to the left and 10 stitches to the right for the mini earmuff. So I already have my slip knot on my hook, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to attach there with the slip knot. Okay. And then we're going to skip two stitches, and then that third, we're going to make seven double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I know it's going to get tight, but they'll all fit. Trust me. Seven. Okay, in that stitch, then we're going to skip two and then slip stitch into that third. And fasten off. Okay. We're going to go back over here to our middle stitch marker. And then we're going to go 16 this way because we're going to work from the right to the left. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in this stitch, and I didn't even mark it, or I didn't have my, I'm sorry, not that I didn't mark it, I didn't have my slip knot ready. So I'll just take that crochet hook, mark it that way. Again, we're going to slip to join. This yarn always keeps splitting on me. I think it's because it's I'm not using the the proper hook. I think it calls for a six, but it's okay. We can experiment. I do it all the time. So once we've attached, we're gonna skip two and into that third, we're gonna make our seven double crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Skip two and then slip stitch into that last one or the third one. Fasten off. I'm going to sew in my ends. And this is what the finished hat looks like without the mini earmuffs. And this is what the finished hat looks like with the earmuffs. Real quick, I just want to show everybody my next project. It's going to be a 12 point star baby blanket. Um, you can do this in two, two colors, uh, three colors, however many you want. So don't forget to uh, subscribe. You want to be notified when this pattern comes out i want to thank everybody for watching and even more your patience and together let's continue to crochet it forward bye now